Welcome to Easy Learning Economics. This is Dr. Cavill. In the third part, we are going to learn about the perfect or centralized cartel and market sharing cartel under a collusive oligopoly. Here we are talking about the collusive oligopoly, two structures that one is the centralized cartel and other one is the market sharing cartel. These are the two types of the collusive oligopoly. So here in this lecture, we are about to discuss the what is cartel meaning and what is cartel price and output and uh, what are the cartel features how does a single firm price and output decide before the cartel formation what is centralized cartel how does single firm price and output decide after the cartel setup and uh, what is market sharing cartel and uh, a single firm price and output after formation of cartel how the firm in the cartel may cheat the rivals when do the cartels most successful or fail these are the lecture contents for today lecture so we will discuss it one by one before to discuss the lecture here i would like to suggest my two videos on oligopoly my video number 51 in the first part which we in which we discuss the contestable market oligopoly form and uh, the video number 52 that uh, in which we talked about the price leadership model under oligopoly so you must go through the these two suggested videos because you will have a better idea about the oligopoly concept in detail. Here we start that what is the cartel meaning? In the cartel price arrangement group of firms control prices, coordinate output decision and act together. Under cartel price theory competitors in the same industry in order to reduce competition and control sales contract and prices collude among themselves make formal or informal agreement to fix price for the market and fix sales quota in individual share of each firm an international oil cartel is an organization of petroleum exporting countries how cartel price and output is fixed here you can see demand and supply meets at this point and quantity OQ needs to be produced but under the cartel what the oligopolist do the oligopolist always increase the price by producing less so oligopolist will decide to produce the OQ2 rather than OQ1 charges the price P2 rather than the P1 oligopolist under the cartel arrangement reduce the supply in order to raise the price oligopolies produces less and raises price above the competitive level and sell at the same price as each firm would operate at the same marginal cost in this way successful cartel harms the customers and leaves the customers to pay at a high price rather than the customer wish to pay the equilibrium price and this adversely affect the market efficiency as well as the economy so what are the features of cartel the group of producers in order to be labeled as cartel they must have the following features and characteristics they must have a large market share before to form the cartel there must be a quota allocation in cartel there must be the monitoring over members that to avoid violation punish the violators target minimum price take action to defend the price these are the features under which the cartel may be formed so a single firm price and output before the cartel formation before the cartel is formed the firm acts as monopoly and the firm would like to produce the OQ quantity at price this so this is the competitive price for the firm before the cartel formation so we can say that when there is a single firm before entering into a cartel produces Q competitive output suppose a firm in this industry form a cartel and set a price P to maximize joint monopoly profit the firm is now making economic profit once the firm enter into a cartel 
इंक्रीज ज्वाइंट प्रॉफिट द फार्म कुड अर्न दिस इकोनॉमिक प्रॉफिट वट इज सेंट्रलाइज कार्टिल आर परफेक्ट कार्टिल दिस इज फॉर्म ऑफ कॉलेज ओलिगोपोली दिस इज फॉर्म टू बूस्ट द इंडस्ट्रियल प्रॉफिट अंडर विच इंडिविजुअल फॉर्म्स सरेंडर देयर डिसन रिगार्डिंग आउटपुट एंड प्राइस टू सेंट्रल अथॉरिटी द इंडिविजुअल फॉर्म इज जस्ट अ प्राइस टेकर अंडर द सेंट्रलाइज कार्टिल suppose there are two firms that and their cost is mca mcb mca is the marginal cost of firm one and uh, mcb is marginal cost of firm others so here is the sum of the marginal cost so the sum of the marginal cost it means it is the sum of the marginal cost a and marginal cost b firms where as the average revenue is equal to demand it means this is the demand curve of the market and it is the mr is the marginal revenue when the cartel is formed the cartel decide the price to be charged is p and the firm a and b will produce their quota as per their quota that is oqb and oa so this is the pure centralized are the perfect cartel under which the industry decide the price and firm is a price taker and the firm would produce their assigned quota in this way the cartel is formed to boost the industrial profit the cartel is arranged all firms will earn the economic profit continuously if all firms should produce the assigned share of the output the industry decides to produce the total quantity to firm a is this portion of the quantity to be produced by the firm a and this quantity of the production to be produced by firm b and at which price the price will remain same that is this at this price the firm all will earn the economic profit and other form of cartel is market sharing cartel this is an other form of colon in oligopoly that is weak in comparisons to perfect cartel in this form of coal even member firms share the market on the basis of quota system and non price competition and form a cartel through agreement with considerable degree of freedom relating to output selling activities and other decision so quantity of output to be produced and sold depend upon the firm's terms and condition all firms have same cost function and producing homogeneous product so how the firm in the cartel may cheat here each firm has an option to cheat on their production quota to earn more economic profit the firm a may produce more than firm b if all firms do the same practice and increase their output in order to earn more economic profit the cartel would no longer to be successful and the price would revert back to its original position with zero economic profit until a firm can find a way to prevent cheating for example euphone mobilink talinor zong warid these are the mobile sim seller companies before they form a cartel they are selling a sim at 25 rupees per sim and after entering into a cartel that the mobiling firm decide all the firms shall sell its sim at 100 rupees suppose so this is the form of cartel and if all the firm infiltrate into a market and produces the more quantity then the firm will revert back to its original position and selling the sim at 25 rupees so they no longer will earn the economic profit cheat to each other when do the cartel most successful or fail so what are the factors on the basis of which the cartel may be successful or fail what are those factors cartel are said to be successful when there are very few firms controlling the supply and price in market by producing monopoly output it is easy to detect the quota violation when there should be no close substitute an inelastic demand for product supply is independent of weather and political conditions entry barriers are very high firm is agree on its allocated quota to supply there is no antitrust legislation in the country 
under these conditions the cartel can be successful otherwise if the reverse of these things the cartel becomes fail so this is all about the collusive form of oligopoly perfect cartel or centralized cartel and market sharing cartel form so i hope that you have the better knowledge about the oligopoly so if you have any suggestions let me know your feedback or any future request in comment box in the last but not least please click the subscribe button so that you may get the information about upcoming videos on more economic related topics that will be beneficial for you so thanks for watching